Tracing the History of Molecules Understanding the history of molecules is invaluable in numerous applications, including food authentication and natural gas extraction. Dr. Alexis Gilbert from the Tokyo Institute of Technology and his colleagues are developing innovative techniques to reveal the history of molecules, focusing on clues within carbon atoms. The background of Dr. Gilbert's research begins with carbon's atomic nucleus. A carbon atom always contains six protons, but the number of neutrons can vary. Carbon atoms with different numbers of neutrons are called isotopes. The most prevalent carbon isotope is carbon-12, which contains six neutrons alongside six protons. Another is carbon-13, containing seven neutrons and six protons. Dr. Gilbert focuses on small molecules, such as ethanol, which contains two carbon atoms. In a sample of ethanol, most molecules will contain two carbon-12 atoms, while a few will have one carbon-13 and one carbon-12. Even fewer molecules will contain two carbon-13 atoms. Dr. Gilbert's team measures the ratio of these two isotopes at specific positions within molecules to reveal their origin. Ethanol, the alcohol found in beverages, can be produced synthetically in the laboratory or naturally by fermenting plant sugars. As they have different histories, Dr. Gilbert suspected that the ratio of carbon isotopes in fermented ethanol would be different from that in synthetic ethanol. During his PhD studies, Dr. Gilbert and his colleagues developed a technique that can analyze ethanol in alcoholic beverages, including beer, tequila, and wine. Not only can their method determine whether a beverage is authentic, it can also, in some cases, identify the plant that the alcohol was derived from. As the sugar used to produce tequila comes from the blue agave plant, this technique is useful for detecting fake tequila fermented from cheap sugars. The researchers then applied their experience with the ethanol to develop a technique that can reveal the origin of natural gas. Thermogenic natural gases form from the thermal breakdown of organic matter, while biogenic gases are produced by microbes. Industries often decide whether to extract natural gas from a potential site depending on its origin. Natural gas is a mixture of molecules, including methane and propane. When developing their technique, the team decided to focus on propane, which contains three carbon atoms. In most propane molecules, all three carbon atoms are carbon-12. Carbon-13, when present, occupies either the central position or terminal position. By testing propane samples from known sources, the team found that the position of carbon-13 depended on the formation temperature or the amount of gas produced, offering clues about its origin. Once it forms underground, propane can undergo thermal or microbial breakdown. Continuing from their propane work, the researchers developed a method to identify these breakdown processes. Understanding these processes and their role in the carbon cycle could aid climate change mitigation efforts. Dr. Gilbert's team discovered that in natural gas reservoirs where microbial breakdowns occur, propane samples have a higher ratio of carbon-13 at the central position of the molecule. This means that microbes prefer to break down propane molecules containing three carbon-12 atoms or those with carbon-13 at a terminal position. Therefore, the team's method can identify locations where microbial breakdown is happening. Now, Dr. Gilbert and his colleagues hope to make their methods widely available, allowing other scientists to determine the origin of molecules for numerous applications.